All right, all right, all right. Uh, thank you very much, my people. Uh, we're back again now. This is the second broadcast for today. So I want you guys to uh, let's start with this. Like and share, like and share, and let's take it from here. Now, anyway, thank you very much, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. I'd like to start hearing from our people again. Uh, a link I've posted earlier on, although a lot of people, I think the, the screen is filled up. Um, yes, keep trying in case anybody loses the sport. But let me go to... But let me go to... Somebody unmuted themselves. Okay, Maji, do you want to say something? Maji, was that, was that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead, talk to us. Okay, go ahead, talk to us. Um, I, I, it's already morning here, so I just want to speak fast and go to bed. Okay, my brother, no problem. Okay, my brother, no yeah. problem. Yeah, first, I, I just want to go back a little and the grace on what we are saying before. Actually, I wasn't being um, negative from what people said before. I was only stating the obvious because we are in court and I can see most of the things that is happening there. And my prayer is for P2B to win. But you know these people. All we have is our people. All we have is the people. But we don't really have the power that being. We don't really have those people who can seek yes we we have the media we have we have the social media we have the 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 the, the, the youth we have everybody yeah we have but we we lack those personality that can that can do it secretly for us because when you look at the body language of those people they already knew that the courts will not decide on their on the uh, on for them you know, will not go on their side, will not be favoring them in terms of uh, giving them the outright winner the way they wanted. So the body language shows that they are preparing for Iran. And everything the, the new president is doing is kind of trying to let us know that they are preparing for Iran if something like that happens. We, we shouldn't be talking about... Um, this is not prayer. It's not something prayer can do for us. It's not something being positive can do for us. This is something that we need to we need to get ready for. We need to get prepared because what happened last year, earlier this year on 25th of February, at least will show us that these people have the police, they have the army, they have the talks. And if the election happens to come again, they're going to do the same thing. If we still have this same set of people, you know, conducting the election, the same thing is going to repeat itself. That is where I'm, I'm going. So for we as a people, what we have is ourselves. So we have to be prepared ahead of them. We have to do things that will always outshine them because they are still, they are still old, but they know the game. So I'm trying to say that we have to be prepared for anything. We have to set our mind. Because we are excited before. I was so excited in first time this election was going. I even give some people money to go collect their PVC. In case if it was money to go to to the uh, to the headquarters where they have to put uh, pick up their PVC. I gave them transport. So things like this, we have to be prepared. After doing all those things, they did what they, they did. They didn't campaign, but they know, already know their game plan. And the game plan was to rig the election, and which they did. So what makes us think that this second time, they will not be out with everything they have? As I'm talking to you now, they, all they are doing is to make sure that they, are, they set their, 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 their game very well this time around. So we have to beat them. We, don't, we, we can't say we have to beat them by being just positive. This is no prayer session. It's not prayer session, brothers. This is reality. Reality, reality is what we are facing here. We are facing people who, who are desperate for power. They're not going to give it so easy. They're not going to just relax and watch us do the same thing again because if they, if they fold their hands the way they did, we took them on our way first time. So this second time, because I'm sure, I, I'm telling you they won't declare it to be winning. Everybody thinks that is a joke. I know what I'm saying. 
if it was maybe somebody from the south, somebody from the north, uh, the southwest, I will tell you, okay, yes, they will. But somebody from the southeast, they will not. Read my lips, they will not. They rather go for a run so that they will get prepared. So people think maybe I'm being negative. I'm from I'm, I'm from I'm from east. I know what I'm saying. Can I can I ask you a question, please? Yeah. Um, um. Do you believe in change? Do you believe in change? I believe in change, brother. Okay. Do you know that okay. change you know is inevitable? Of course, definitely. Okay. Okay. So what how do you believe that, that someone from the someone east, from the east cannot, ascend cannot ascend to that throne to that throne for a change for a because change everyone believes in him? Believe in him. Did we, my question go to I didn't get your question, please. I am telling you that I since you believe in change. Believe in change and you know the and man you know, called Peter Obi, and you know that change is inevitable. Don't you know, don't you believe that a man that rises up from the east can ascend that throne with the backing of the people? Okay, you wait, let him respond. You wait, let him respond. Right. Yeah, I believe, I believe, but we have to put a hard work. Hard work is the only way for us to succeed. We all wishes for, for that to happen. Because Brother, we please, believe can you, can, you, can, you, can you define, can you define, thank you, thank you, answer my question. Answer my question. What did you say? I said, thank you, you answered, answered my question. answered my question. Okay, so can I go on with my... Uh, with I, my have another question. I, have I have another question. I have another question for you. I have another question for you. Yeah. What is your definition of hard work? Hard work. It, it depends on what you... It depends on what you understand by hard work. Uh, brother, you're the one that said brother, hard work. We need to put in. I want to understand what you mean by what you said. You said we it's need to what put I in hard work. What I, believe, hard work. what I believe is hard work is when we, when we, get, when we get people... Who has the power? Who is sitting? Who is sitting the same place where they are sitting? Who is calling the shot? The way they are calling the shot. Because right now you and I has no power. You and I, you and I are just we like ordinary. Brother, I, don't, I, don't I don't understand you. I'm your student right now. You have confused right me more. I'm going to see the exam. Oh, yeah. Please, nobody should ask more questions because uh, the, the feedback is, is not even letting us hear what anybody is saying anymore. Um, Majid, I'll put it on the back. Sorry, sorry. The oh, office, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, you know, maybe no time to do that. Uh, Mr. Majid, I'll put it on the backstage. As I bring you in, please round up. Okay? Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So right. I was trying to say right. that I believe that we can win if we go for a rerun, but I'm trying to be realistic that things can things can go the other way around. It, 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 does, it doesn't have to be that everybody has to agree with me, but I'm trying to be obvious. I'm trying to look at the people who we are dealing with. I'm trying to look at the people who are at the other side of the uh, the other side of the country, their the attitude, their belief. So I'm trying to look at, at it in my own in my own way, in my own understanding how they think about the people in the south. You know, so I'm trying to be positive. If things turn out to be that God has made it so that Peter B will rule, no man can stop it, no matter the kind of uh, power they have. But I'm trying to be positive. Then before I conclude. I said something and people did not believe me when I said it. Please, can you listen to this voice note? No, 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 we don't. Leave. No, no, no. You are not allowed to play anything here. Don't do that, please. You are not allowed. You know, uh, please. Just Mr. Evans, please, can I put a rejoinder to what he just said? No, 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 hold on. Hold on, let him finish. Let him... Please, next time, Angie, don't try to play anything on this broadcast. Please, he's prohibited. Okay. I was trying to I was trying to let people know 
what that guy said before nobody believed me when i said that he said something like this nobody believed me yeah, i have to log out yeah, not 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 to to it. It. okay not but not i just want to clear it so that everybody will understand so i have to go back to his comment and bring out the bring out the the, the comments he made so that everybody will, will understand where I, I was coming from. I have been on this platform for almost a year, and I've never for once interjected. I've never for once uh, go against anybody who tried to who try to correct me or something. You can testify to that. That's fine. Yeah, you can testify to that. Yes, but yes, for yes, me to yes, feature yes. out that is because I felt that comment was unfair, even if he said that he was not listening. Most of the time, if I'm not here, oh, we have passed that, oh, that already. Now. Yeah, but nobody believe what I said. But that, do that nobody have to believe, believe, believe you. It's not because you have to believe you. Just say what you want to Just say. Just say what you want to you say. Want you want to say. Believe. Believe. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. But he says something like that. That's what I'm trying to clear. That's yeah, it. that's Thank fine. You. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. That's Thank fine. You, Thank, you, Thank you, Mr. Magic. Thank you, Mr. Magic. All right. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, you want uh, to say something? Want to... Yeah, Naja Wash, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, so you see the sentiment this my brother has just shared. You know, I have had such, uh, you know, thoughts. But you see, it's not every thought that I have that I choose to come to the public space, you know, to, to, to talk about because I know that... Uh, the enemies are also listening. So what I want to say is that we and the Labour Party are presenting facts at the tribunal. Nothing but the facts. And the evidences that have been presented are well overwhelming. That's the election was not conducted with the minimum standard, okay? Therefore, we leave it to the judiciary to do the right thing. It is going to be the decision of the judiciary to decide the matter based on the facts that have been presented. I do not want to preempt and I would not like anyone to preempt the court on what is the right decision that they should take. But you coming on the public space to say that anybody that want to beg with bet with you that they are not going to deliver the judgment that the uh, Labour Party was the actual winner of the election, I I think you know you are being is a reckless that is very reckless. It is enough to say that the facts of the election are being presented in the judiciary. The fact that shows that a lot of votes were diverted from the Labour Party and given to the APC is being presented. The fact to say that INEC did not follow the guidelines by which they conducted this election, which they announced in going into the election, the fact to say that an Amazon representative had testified that it was a deliberate act for INEC not to have followed the guideline as stipulated by the Electoral Act, which is in the Constitution. It is for the court to decide on how they want to rule based on the fact and not for you to come and say on air that they will not give a judgment that is in the favor of the people. So I think uh, uh, that uh, that uh, position is quite reckless, even though it is your right, but it's a reckless submission on an obedient platform. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have a uh, uh, Williams winner in the building. Williams, it's good to have you here on this evening. Oh, you. Please talk to us. Mr. Mr. Elvis, good evening. And good evening, everybody. Thank you. On the much. panel and those people on the comment section. I, you, can, you can notice that I've not been on the platform for maybe for about two or three days, though I'll always be listening to what is going on. Mm -hmm. Not that I 
decided not to be around. But I'll be following everything on the Twitter space. I even spent almost all the days listening to the petition. I always see online. And there's something that I've clear to me now, which I will want every obedience that are listening to me and every one of us on the platform to always believe in. Number one, why are we calling ourselves obedience? Why are we here? Why are we fighting for this cause? We have been in this nation for a very long time and we know how the election has been running. But the one that is going on now is a different ball game entirely. And our hope is in one person, and that is our principal, Mr. Peter Obi. When I joined this evening, because I have not been around this morning, but I saw the person talking. I was touched. Even I didn't know that I would have a chance to enter the platform. Please, I said something to the comment section. Nobody should be talking about rerun. It's like we are accepting failure. What is rerun? Now we are now preempting what is going on. I like the question one of our brother there asked that, do you believe in a change? But I won't blame anybody. It's because of the sentiment we have been having in this nation that nothing can happen, nothing good can happen. But anytime that thought came to us, we should just flash our mind back, this journey in obedience. What has happened within nine months? Something that has never happened. I have never, and I know many of us, have never followed election in Nigeria the way we are following it back to back. In the election, in the petitions, everything that is going on is teaching us something that something good can still come out in this from this nation. See the evidences. There's nothing called Iran. It's nothing like Iran. I must confess to you, if anything less than giving us our mandate back, I'm telling you, Nigeria, sorry to say, I won't have any faith in anything again because someone say we should put on hard work. What kind of hard work can go beyond what we have been doing for the past nine months? Want to talk about the campaign? Want to talk about the speech? We want to talk about the money organically that people spent because of this election. We want to talk about the sacrifice people made. I'm in Nigeria, as always said it. People made to collect their PVC. We want to talk about the sovereign during the election. What kind of hard work do we want to put on? And we are seeing daylight robbery that, that, is, that is going on. See what is going on on the petition. Maybe many people didn't follow it. That's why they are talking about rerun. No, it's not rerun. We are all eyes is now on the judiciary. Everybody knows that we won the election, that Peter Obi won the election, that the Nigerians won the election, not even Mr. Peter Obi. Everybody knows that what happened. I make know what happened. APC won what happened. The judiciary knows what happened. It is not that we don't know what happened or we don't believe in our principle that says, no, I'm going to prove to the whole world that I want this election and I'm going to prove it. To the logical conclusion, it has a meaning. So we should not be doubting ourselves that eh, they are not going to give it to somebody because it's come from who. Our principal never campaigned on ethnicity, never campaigned. He said, I am a Nigerian. Everybody should vote for me because I'm a Nigerian. We should not listen or be thinking of what they are doing now that they are now planning for rerun. What are they planning for? Rerun in this country? No. That we should put on the, the, the fight to counter them, to counter them. No, we should not be thinking about that. What we should be amplifying now is all eyes are on the judiciary. If, if I want to ask, if they give any one of us opportunity to pronounce judgment on what is going on presently concerning this election, I know Many of us are going to judge that this is the truth. To me, it's like we know the truth and we are trying to cover the truth. And as I always say, that there's nothing more powerful than the saying the truth. It is only the truth that is going to set this nation free. And we should not and forget something. 
what is going on presently is not in, within this country, Nigeria. All eyes are now on the judiciary worldwide. You want to see how they're going to do it. Our principal coming to the court of law every day. It's not because of his own mandate only. No. You want to see the way is going to do it. The judiciary, the judiciary are going to do it. He told us that I believe in the judiciary. We don't believe in them. We don't have trust in them. But let's just, let us just hold on. I believe something new is going to happen. So please, don't let us listen or dance to their mental inducement to, to make us to have emotional distrust in ourselves that we cannot do it. Please, anybody, please don't say we're wrong. Don't say they will not give it to somebody. I don't believe it. Something new must happen. They don't have to leave unless there's no more constitution. Somebody said something yesterday, and I've been pondering on this since yesterday, that if the judiciary do less, it means nobody, nobody, after this petition, is going to trust judiciary again. No lawyer is going to come that, okay, I want to stand for you. They will tell you that there's no more law. There's no more judiciary. There's no more law in this nation. No more constitution in this country because they have destroyed everything. So, new thing must happen. Please, everybody, the obedient family, we should have hope in that Mr. Peter Obi and we have hope in ourselves. We work hard. See, Mr. Elvis, you have been coming on the platform for, for how many years? You dedicated your platform for Mr. Peter Obi on this, on this, on this race. Do you think your labor is going to be on, in vain? I've been on PI, Twitter space, everybody. You are saying this. Do you think their labor is going to be on, in vain? Please, you are listening to us. Don't let us give up. We are more than them. Don't ever say they have power, we are powerless. Who we'll tell you that the first office of this nation, it is we, the people, and that is what they are afraid much. We are, they were are afraid of the people. That is why they were, they were looking for legitimacy everywhere. They want to win us back. But they can't win us to them to themselves because they, they are being built on a faulty foundation. Please, let's believe in ourselves. Let's have hope as a Nigerian, as the people that have been deposed in the post in our country, as the people that have been betormenting in our country that we can take our country back. How many are they? How many are they? We own this country. The youth own this country. The unborn generation need this country. And it has never been like this before. Please don't let us give up. Let us stand firm and claim our mandate, mandate back. As we always say, Mr. Harris, it is now or never. Thank you, everybody, and God bless every one of us. Exactly. It is now or never. May God bless you, my brother, Williams Winner. I'm very happy you came into the um, platform uh, the panel this evening, your submission was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. All right. Yes, my people, it is now or never. If God forbid we fail to have it this time, it can never happen again. All right. Thank you very much. Let me take calls this time because I need to prioritize. People that want to call in, this is your opportunity for you to call in right now. Love of God is my strength. Thank you for calling in, madam. Please talk to us. Good evening to you. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Everyone on the panel. Good afternoon. For the comment section, thank you everyone for being here again since morning. Well done, um, Niger Wash for all you do. Thank you. Yeah, I want to speak about, I want to speak on uh, the way some of us we we talk when we're in the public place. I don't want to condemn anybody and I don't want to say anything against anyone that said anything. You know, when we come to a place where all of us we are all praying, or I would say we are all believing that good thing will come out of the court case for us. And you come on a place that everybody will join our mind together, with our spirit man, believing that a great thing will happen, will happen at the court. And somebody is coming to come and be laying this kind of thing out, speaking it out. You know, like I always say to you, my brother, if you remember, I said the word of our mouth is powerful. When you speak, you know, it, it, there's something about this talk that we have. So please, I will beg every one of us, if you know that you are not strong enough 
you are not a, I don't know, you don't believe, you are not somebody that believes, you know, even if you, you are doubting, please don't speak it out. It is very wrong because the word that someone speak on a place where we have all gathered together, believing, and somebody is coming to say they will do this, they will do that. It is totally wrong. Please, and I advise anyone that is not the way to live life. We are believing and we know that we are going to get our money back. So we are not, we don't want to listen to any negative feel, any negative vibe. What we know is that. We are getting our mandate back, and that's what we are saying. We've been saying it, and we don't also want to come and say, oh, the judge will do this. No, the judge will prevail for us. They will prevail for Peter B. They will prevail for Nigerians who have labored, who have gone out to put in their time. They will, they will, they will prevail for us. They will, they will favor us in everything that will come out of their mouth. Because the, the art of the king is in hand of God. It's like a stream of water. He, he can turn it the way he wants and it's turning to our favor. And we are speaking that light and we are going to get it back. Please, that's all I want to say. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sarah, so, uh, people who say more call now, no, no call. If person they call, talk now, that time, now they say, say call us go, they call. Now, I'm going to say, what they have? I mean, I mean, I'm with the letters, I don't depend on uh, no go call. Yeah. <laughs> I beg, uh, make a call with you. Talk to me, my brother, Takuma. Okay, first of all, they call now, finally. Hold on. Hello, Mr. Chris. Thanks for calling in. Good evening to you, sir. Talk to us. Um, good evening, Mr. Ninja Watch. Um, my name is Chris. I'm calling from Dublin. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Um, good evening, everybody. And um, Ninja Watch, thank you for what you do. Thank you, sir. The Lord will continue to bless you. Um, thank you to everybody in the panel, everybody in the comment section. Um, Black Panther, I see you. Continue with the spirits. Um, thank you all. Well, I just want to make a very short contribution to the discussion this evening. I think for everything we do, we must never ever think of a rerun. Because these guys, they already know how the process and the procedures work. And we know Mahmoud or whoever is going to head INEC, they are all in the same game. They are all in the same team. Now they've realized a the mistake that they made in the main election. So if we're ever thinking of a rerun, they are going to fine tune everything and they are going to get away with the kind of mass victory that we cannot even say anything again. So it's better we keep on fighting and ensure that we reclaim this mandate, like irrespective of whatever happens, irrespective of the number of people that lost faith in the process and procedures just need to keep on fighting. We need to, well, the good thing is that um, we have the fighter as our leader in the person of the Talbi. There are so many times he has stood alone and we went on to get what he's looking for. You know, that's the encouragement I have as a person that even if everybody, if everybody loses faith in this process, I know our, um, our principal, Peter Obi, is going to keep on, is going to get to the end. He has done it before, not once, not twice, and I know he will do it again. All we need to do, like we've been doing, is to just keep up with the faith and keep announcing all these things that they are doing on every social media platform. It is clear that they've taken over all the mainstream journalism, just like uh, Nigeria was showing earlier. You know, this uh, salary increment, I can see they are denying it, that it didn't say anything like that. Whereas it is, the news is littered all over the national dailies. Even as of today, the, the vanguard that Nigeria was showed, I just quickly took a screenshot of it. Because you see, see so a lot of people are defending these guys. And sadly, this is just who we are. So the, all the rest of us that believe in this mandate, we should keep on fighting. We should begin and end and target just one thing. That is victory, the reclamation of the mandate. Anything short than that, anything less than that, it's going to be difficult. Now we have to understand that the government of Tinubu and that of Buhari, they are two different people. 
while Buhari is crude and fish without any sense of information technology or stuff like that, you know, the guys with Tinubu, they are both slick, they are corny, they are internet savvy, and all these things, and they are also crude if they want to. So we are dealing with a bigger demon with Buhari, uh, with Tinubu than Buhari. So if it gets to rerun, they are going to do everything. They are going to use all their tactics. They are going to use the internet. They are going to do everything to make sure they win. So we are never going to allow that to stand. We keep fighting as we keep fighting till we get to the end. And victory is sure. Yeah, a lot of us say we can pray. Yes, prayer is good. But in all this, we must remember that man, uh, God will not do for man what man must do for himself. And with that, I say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to contribute. Thank you all for listening. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chris. God bless you, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, my people, I salute to now. I can see Mr. Joseph OG right there. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, he said, Mr. Elvis, please, it is now or never, and God Almighty continue to strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And you too, sir. Thank you for your continuous prayers, encouragement, and support. Yes, I appreciate every one of you right there. I can see Juliet is with us. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate you, Opa Chargina, our Charity Coco. Thanks for joining us, Elizabeth. I can see you all right there. Thank you. Thank you, my good people. My dad. I can see Patricia Enofe. Thank you very much, my sister. Thank you, my wonderful people right there. And God will bless you. Now, mother of all, Mami Diaspora, thank you very much, Mami. We love you. And Rosie Ayosh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, Elizabeth Joseph and many, many more. All right. I just wanted to quickly scan through. Jekyll Obedient, I can see you as well. Okay. Uh, let me come back to the panel again. Yes. My people, let's. Uh, we never hear from Mr. Edwin since very patient man, or maybe he does sleep. Mr. Edwin, be like, he does sleep. Nah, uh, Jawad, be like, me, you want to before the call came in. Okay. okay. Uh, good, good evening, Jawad. Okay, never sleep. Okay, man, come back to you, sir. Make Takuma talk to us first. This one, I greet you, Mr. Edwin. Well, uh, good morning, sir. So, Jawad, uh, I just have two points to make, you know. The reason why there can never be a rerun is because both the circumstantial evidence and the direct evidence that have been presented at the petition uh, at the tribunal so far has gone to show and pointed out that the independent National Electoral Commission is not actually independent. And if there were to have considered a rerun, who is going to conduct the election? Certainly not INEC, because even the judiciary can see from everything that INEC is compromised. INEC is functioning as a political party. Therefore, it is the responsibility of uh, the judiciary to collate and announce the exact winner of that election. So it is not possible for a rerun because the uh, body that uh, was supposed to have conducted a rerun is uh, on the defense side and uh, because they failed woefully in conducting a free and fair election. So it is going to be reckless on the side of the judiciary to give back that responsibility of conducting another election to INEC. So for that reason, I believe that uh, the justices are smart, intelligent enough to know that rerun it's not an option, and it is their duty to collate this result based on evidence presented and announce the true winner of that election. So that is number one point there. Number two is that at the point where we are right now in Nigeria, the executive arm of government has failed Nigerians woefully. The legislature has failed Nigerians woefully. The third arm of government is now on trial. And the responsibility of whether Nigeria is going to go down the drain into the soccer pit or is going to stand on a new pedestal for rebuild and reconstruction 
has now been given over to the judiciary. It is now in their hands to save that nation because having been deceived and failed by you know the two other arms of government it is the responsibility of the judiciary to render justice which happened to be their responsibility based on their professional you know standard so i want to call on the judiciary that regardless of whether your salary has been proposed to be increased by 1000 percent or you have been promised heaven and earth, it is your responsibility to do what is right. And what is right is visible to the blind. It is audible to the deaf. And even the children who know nothing about electoral processes knew that the only name that they kept hearing before, during, and after the election is OB Labour Party. And the evidences that have been presented so far comes to one conclusion, circumstantially and by direct, that Labour Party was the popular party that got the votes. And having been failed by INEC in collating the results, and announcing the true legitimate winner by virtue of the mandate that Nigerians have given to the candidates, it is the responsibility of the judiciary to do that and not to appropriate that responsibility back to that institution who has proven to be a rogue institution. So there is no reason, there is no justification of facts that the judiciary would have in saying that their ruling should end up in a rerun. Rather, they have been charged with the responsibility of collating this result and announcing the true and legitimate winner of the election. So I want to pray for the judiciary by whatever religion, by whatever faith that they so believe, that the God who they believe in will bless them and will reward them both here on earth and beyond their children and their children's children will feel good only if they do the right thing that is my prayer for them thank you mr evis all right um i just pray by god anyway let me say a big amen to your prayers first and I pray God Almighty allow them to uh, let them do the right thing. It's very, very important. My God, is it my turn? No, no, not your turn, Mr. Edwin. After Mr. Edwin, you. Mr. Edwin, please talk to us, sir. Thank you very much, my God. I'm grateful. And uh, thank you for all you've done for all of us that are Nigerians. Helping us to fight our mandate. Helping us to take back our country from the hands of those oppressors whom fed their earth to come and oppress a fellow human being. Well, all we've seen this evening, and let me quickly go back to the first speaker since, who talks about uh, what we should expect from the Chinese. That uh, idea has long been, the world international law is going down every day. Because most of these things we are seeing that is happening in this Kenya and other places is absorbed because uh, what we know as uh, sovereignty, where another country will come and build a, a police station in another country, I don't think there's sovereignty anymore there. And people that will always do such a thing or grant such a thing to these people are those wicked leaders. If you grant Chinese to come and build police station in Nigeria, you that did it, you are a slave master. A modern slave master. You've enslaved Nigerians and sold their right to Chinese. That is what it means. Like this afternoon when I was reading, I discovered that uh, 
this issue we are discussing now about this Chinese issue taking it back, I mean, taking over most of Africa countries. I discovered the Alaba international market, they are destroying, they are destroying it, just they want to hand over it to the Chinese to build up and then import whatever. I think in, in 1999, there was something that happened in Europe. There was most of these children, baby toys. Children were buying, my parents were buying it for their children and they were dying. So, a lot of uh, infantry death was uh, being recorded in Europe and also in America. Then American food specialities and uh, food control, they had to search out. Europe stand out, started investigating and trying to find out where is this thing coming from. After about two months, they now discover that the, the baby toys they are bringing from China, there was a special paint they used to paint, they spray those toys, plastic toys. That, that special paint is what normally attracts children to pick it up and play with it because it's very bright. And when these children are playing with it, they are, they are not about to put it in their mouth. And that is where these children were being, that is where they were being poisoned from this paint they were using. But if you had to be in Africa countries, nearly the old children would die. Because there will be nobody, nobody will be able to go extra mile to find out, to investigate, to check and come to the conclusion or come to understand that this thing is coming from just children toys that was being sold. Parents were buying it for their children. Why am I saying this thing? I'm saying this thing because a lot of things will follow up if they try that thing or if that thing happens in Nigeria. Three years ago, a Chinese man was flogging Nigerians in Lagos for coming to work late because they were working for him. And nothing happened until some human rights activists decided to take over that matter. But after two more weeks, that matter died a natural death that there was no thing ahead of it anymore. After that being said, I just a, a message for our people to know there's a lot to eat more than what we are talking about now, and more than what we have already said. People should be careful. That's just the message. Now, Let's come to the issue of our election, which is our main headache and concern. Because if we win this election petition, all these things that is giving us headache now that we are discussing China or no China, all these things, we, I mean, will now be decapitated and it will now come back to shape. Because somebody who knows how to run government will be there to do the needful. So, now... Most of the case that would have saved Agbado, that means some people should understand, is that what happened today, that for forensic expert to come out now and for the witness to come out now and they came to prove it that they deleted the result in Abuja, that's already criminal. It's a, it's a, com a confirmed evidence for criminal case. That is the gospel truth. And I should expect the Labour Party lawyers now, if they are hearing us, let them now make a submission of criminal tendency. That's criminal intent. They should file it in. In a different court, not in that same court. When they file it in, if they go out now, whether they, whether they lose it or it doesn't matter, then the case of criminal intent will be investigated under election malpractices and Mahmoud will be indicted. Otherwise, he should produce or provide whoever that did that delete. After that being said, uh, internet experts, forensic experts, they can still get that, that thing. If they apply, if Labour Party apply, I mean, uh, Labour Party apply to Amazon tomorrow, in less than two, three hours, the true result will still be, I mean, will still be able to resurrect from wherever the thing they pushed it to. That one is that.
Now, initially, they were trying to push this case for a Supreme Court. Now, they failed since last week, like I've maintained. They saw it and tried to change the game and the pattern of the case. I know, with God Almighty, if they try to change the pattern of the case, there's another case that's going to affect them, that is giving me the courage. That is, the case of identity, the case of school certificate, and this is why I'm praying now that if the one in Enugu happens, then that's another thing. Then the case of Shetima, double nomination, is there. 25% Abuja is there. Now, for not being able to get 25% in Abuja, he's not able to come back into rerun. And I want to make people understand, if even they say it's wrong today, let Obi appeal it, that it's a wrong judgment. It's a complete miscarriage of justice to say no, it's not like wrong. Somebody won squarely. And when they take it up from that angle, it will not go to Supreme Court. With all this evidence, Akbado will go home. It's certain he will go home. But what he's doing now, He's a spoiler master. He's trying to pick up all service chiefs now. There, that if even he goes away, can the people just see from this angle? If even he goes away, his loyalists will be in most of the places, meaning they will make. No, what? Government. No, 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 no. Excuse me, sir. Let me quickly ask a question on that. Are you telling me now that if court removed? Tinubu, all these service uh, 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 newly appointed cannot be removed. They will still be there. Yes, sir. In the, by the constitution, they have a period they have to stay. If no. you remove them, it becomes illegal. If you remove them, if you go through the court procedure, I mean, through uh, a uh, domination procedure, through House of, I mean, House of Rep, and Senate, they, are, they will be confirmed. Once they confirm, they have to explain that to you. Unless you find Someone them wanting. To explain this to me because are you unless you find them wanting, sir. Unless you find them wanting. Who is employing right now cannot be removed when Peter B comes in. If 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 it be, if I mean Tinubu goes away from there two more time, and then this people has been confirmed uh, two I mean a week or three weeks back uh, before, you can remove them. There's always a period. It's their service chiefs. There's period. But when you remove them, that's when they will not say. You have no, you you, whatever you did. So can, can I can I answer that question? You can. Yes, go ahead. Can I answer the question? Yeah. You see, the president is the commander in chief of the armed forces, and the commander in chief of the armed forces is in charge of the military, the entire military, and the paramilitary in the country. And the position of the chief of staffs and other military apparatus are not stated in the constitution neither do they state the years they will use so they can be hired and fired it is not there in the book put the con it's not there in any book exactly. they can be hired uh, and fired uh, exactly. if it's uh, they can remove all of them the same day all of them sir let me sir let me ask a question when you remove them there's a period they serve that is why last time church i mean the, the court sack the uh, uh, the IG. Why? One, there is time they spend, which is 60 years, or they must have put it at five years in service. It's one of the conditions. And when they make them chief, they, they, they go through screening. When you screen them, they confirm them. This is, some of them are to spend two years. So we have to stay four years, but not more than four years in that office. If you remove them oh, for two no, years or four no, years, no, 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 you got That's it wrong. True. The commander in chief true. of the armed forces has the prerogative to handle and reorganize the. You do, you do that Nigeria. when it is true. You no, do that when no, it is. if you are, if you are, look at it. Look, I, I have an uncle that served in the military. If you are over twenty-five years old, you twenty-five years in the service. You can either, you can further or you can say you are retiring. And Tyrant, if you are yeah, over 30, that's it. the government can say, I will retain you to continue for another four years. All so right. it's in the prerogative of the 
chief of the of the, of the of the of the president. Lampata, let me let me hear from somebody on the phone. Onero is on the phone. Good evening to you, sir. Please talk to us. Yeah, good evening. I salute everybody. Just two quick issues. Like what Black Panther was saying, the service chief, they serve at the expense of the sitting president. If Agbado and Tifnibu is removed today, whoever becomes the president, hopefully our man Peter B becomes, he can appoint his own service chief immediately. Exactly. They are not tenor bound, like he said. Then secondly, I want to believe with the evidences we have produced and presented before the court of law, and from the few um, investigations that some media houses and some of us have done, that so there will be one on certain state, which they may decide to outline in the final uh, address to the court, which show there will be actually one. After discounting all those of our voting and all those nonsense, Obi will be declared the winner. Let's be hopeful on that. I don't want to do analysis on Iran. That would be very complicated for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ogan Nero. God bless you, sir. All right. Uh, thank um, you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Oga uh, Elvis. Yes, sir. Whichever way, let me finish up what I was heading on. Okay. And that is the point of saying how it will go, that there's no way Abado can come back if it comes to even a fresh election because of the atrocities he has committed within himself. There's a lot of loopholes, mistakes that he made that is not proper. And for that simple reason, he cannot be there anymore. But anything can happen in that satanic enclaves that they've built up within their circles. So we don't really know how it is, but so far so good. I want a lot of people to understand that the case the Labour Party lawyers built up was fantastic, wonderful, and it's going to lead to something everybody's going to smile about. But this thing this man is doing is giving me concern. Now it's increasing salary for no reason. Doing this, doing that unnecessary. And it's not in the country. Who is now? Does it mean he signed all this paper before he traveled? Does it mean the cabas are not the one doing all these things to kick people out and tell their, their master that uh, with this one, we, I mean, it's not good. This one will not, will not be uh, honorable. This one will not serve you well. This one will try to put them away. How? Ah, what is really happening is not my concern because Buari did these things to us before. He did it before. So that is just what I want everybody to concern. But in the other way around, his case for the last week now, last two weeks till now, they destroy all those chances of rerun and Supreme Court, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, filing for Supreme Court uh, a case. So what we will do now is that we will pray that our God should help all of us, that our master should come in, and when he comes in, we will not smile. A guy is, like I would say, You've used your platform, your time, your feelings, your joy, your pains to serve all Nigerians and serve the nation. May God pay you back the way you've paid the entire society, the entire nation, and the entire citizen. Whatever you fight for, you will always receive. But may you not receive death. May you not receive sickness while you are fighting. May you not receive betrayal. And above all, May you never be chased by those whom you've trusted to betray you. This is my prayer for you. You've tried my brother. And may God continue to embed you with the almighty power so that you will never weary and you'll never be tired. This is my prayer for you. And all those that is also joining us to fight, I pray the same for all of you. Sudden death will never embrace any one of us. Sickness will never be our portion. It will never visit our house. And it will never visit our household. All that we care for, all that we ask, including this election and this result, including this declaration, God Almighty, nothing that is too big for you to do. Carry it out. Sanctify our heart desire. Hack into our voice of complication 
and supplication so that you grant us the need, the wish, and the happiness that will now rebuild our country, Nigeria. This I pray this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Sir. So, Thank you. I'll use that. Okay, sir. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Black Panther, uh, back talk to us, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Niger Watch. And I thank the audience for for their opening years to listening to different analysis we got to put forward. But I would like to come from this position. And uh, I what I what I want to say is that there is a sure light at the end of the tunnel for us. Because we have a brighter way to get to Asu Rock. And it is glaring, it's getting clearer every day. But I want to preempt them now. I want to preempt them like this. The law says, the electoral law says, if there is a, if there is a pre run, if there is a rerun now, we have to take the first and the second. I bet to be corrected. The first and second position that has the highest. Vote. Black Panther, let me correct something, sir. Get yeah, okay, it. You are, what, you, what you are saying, you are not out of line. But there's something yeah. I want you to, to frame it, I mean, phrase it with. That is, yeah. if there is difference between rerun and cancellation. If they yeah, cancel yeah, yeah. the election, it will not be open for all. If, it, if it's a rerun, it will not be only first and second person. That's it. Thank okay. you. I'm coming from a different perspective now, and I want to, so, to just think ab about it. Now, if they say two out of three, then they are doing two out of three. But OB cannot be thrown out because of one thing. He has 25%, more than 25% in Abuja, and he has is defending a stolen vote from about four to five states, which they cannot, on that premises, say Obi cannot go for rerun. Now, if they want to do it and they want to lobby Agbado, sacrificing the junior, the senior brother, PDP. Now, if they say they want to look at it in such a way. They will push OB and give OB, I'm preempting them, oh, push OB and give OB his vote that they took away from him. They will add it up, but they'll still leave Agbado in such a way that Agbado does not fall to third position because they want to use their senior brother as a sacrificial lamb. With their senior brother, I might agree, Onto it because they are the same team. Now they can say Obi and Agbado go for it. I'm preempting them. Then secondly, I just put that aside. Secondly, they might say because of the dispute and because of the technicality, but this technicality is not to blow anybody out. But let us, you know, they can break the laws. Let us bring forth because they can bring forth. Let us bring forth the three of them to go for a rerun in order to salvage the nation, the nature, the nation, not to go into political oblivion. Then the third one is like this: the judge has the prerogative, and the judge can take the risk to salvage the country. And they might stand as a patriot to the country and said, we want to give the vote that we're taking from this other man, LP, and put it, let us see. If, because two of them had no 25%, therefore, if we take the vote of Obi and merge it up, and Obi pairs up with Agbado, Agbado does not have 25 percent, but to be at 25 percent and preempted them. If the if the judiciary want to escape being prosecuted like that by the Abadu, they'll say the 25 percent is now the problem because the Supreme Court have judged 
on the 25 percent, and we cannot override the Supreme Court. Therefore, OB gets the vote, and OB become the, pres the president elect of the country. Those are the three three things. But I'm not seeing those two. The, the first one I'm seeing clearly, but the second one is I'm preempting them. They might go that way because since the judiciary totally did not get the first money very well, inter the first money did not sell them through. They now bring uh, uh, let us increase their salary to one one four percent. Then the judiciary, all of them cannot compromise. Let us get that one right. We all of them cannot just compromise. I know that. Let us get it right. If we are playing a game of probability, everything cannot be hundred percent. Therefore, I stand the ground that there might be an argument within the panel there, and there will be a one man, one man that will decide, and that one man that will decide it might say, "No, I stand for the truth." Abado cannot be president because I am held bound on the constitution that says twenty five percent. Therefore, we cannot move that to that man that doesn't have the twenty five percent. To be the president, why the one that have twenty five percent and a stolen vote and throw him aside? That will become a total chaos in the country. That is how I see it, and that I don't know if anybody will get me well. I don't know if anybody followed my preempting of them because this guy, you have to preempt them and plan towards it so that you can get ready for any eventuality that comes in place. And I want to say this. To all the Agbadois there, and to all the Agbadois that are on different channels, speaking the narrative of hitting hard on the people, that the people are the ones to be blamed. I want to tell you that history, if you go along historic line, it has not been all about the people. It has been all, it has been all about the people, the, the leadership of the nation. That is what led to the first civil war. It was a fight between the leadership and it brought about the civil war. But we are not going to go that trajectory because we have a fact behind it. And if we press it down, this is a clear cut. A man won it. And if you see the man that you people have brought in, Instead of you apprehend that is going to do the best for the nation, that is ready to do the sacrifice, and you want to co-opt us into it. But what we are seeing is not far short from what we have seen before. Where Buhari raised the, 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 the salary of some government officials, where he did something to say, oh, he's a good man. It is happening again. Will you allow your president select to increase the salary of those you send there to, to do to make sure that your mandate, to make sure that they provide you with electricity, which they have increased electricity bill, to provide you with gas, which they have increased gas, which you said cannot be done because a lot of money is there to do other things, but they are not doing it. We are not seeing it clearly, but what they do now to break the comments back is to increase your salary so that they, your belly will be filled and you that always pray to God among the Abados, that pray to God that God should provide you manna. There is no manna from heaven again. You have to walk so that you don't be as, you don't be as a man who, who the Bible calls an infidel who could not provide for your kids. How will you provide for your kids? You have the guy that is 500, 500 something Naira per, 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 per gallon, and you have 30,000 30, Naira as your take home monthly. And your senators, now, if they should go on with the 114 percentage, they will go on with go home with 75 million per annum. Per annum. Therefore, there is the there preempting that we preempt them about has not come to pass. Would you like to vote that kind of a person or would you like to support a man that said he wants to make sure that the Naira has power and create more employment for us to steal our resources, for us to take back our resources so that we can make our country great again? Choose.
among the two. The man that will create employment in the north, in the south, and the west. It has been proven. And he has collectively gathered the experience. He has gathered the point to you people that there's the post there's you Nigeria is possible. And and it is possible. It's going to make it possible. Now you have the power to see and see clearly that our postulate we had about the APC is now coming to pass. What will you say about it? Are you going to change the train that will turn Nigeria for the next Venezuela in Africa? Or you are going to turn the train to join the man that will sail the country towards El Dorado and brought about a prosperous Nigeria? It is left to you to choose whether you are going to seek and pray to God for just a meal a day instead of you providing for your family a day. Because God will not come down to give you a meal. Because God has spoken his word and everything has given to you. You have dominion over your land. You have dominion over the soil. You can plant the soil, till the soil to provide for your family. Make a choice. Make a choice. We are not talking about Labour Party. We are talking about the man that have seen the light, the man that will take us to the future. Every nation are going forward. We are trying to go back because of tribalism, nepotism, and every other thing. We got to choose. Either we want to break the country or to make the country prosperous. It is left on our table. Nigerians, the cake is on your table. It's either you throw the cake off or you make the cake beautiful and prosperous. That is all I've got to you, to every one of you, the Abados, that are, that are going that trajectory. That trajectory you are going is held down and we are nose diving into the ground. And if we nose dive, that is the end of Nigeria. The division comes. Because no man will stand that thing that, would, that he cannot be able to provide a meal for his son or for his children. So therefore, we have a choice. Abadoi, you have a choice. You have seen it. You have witnessed it and you have tilled it. Now make a choice of your own. Thank you very much. Naja, what? Are you there? Yes, yes. I was trying to... <laughs> I'm mute. Thank you very much. Thank you for your wonderful submission, my brother. I appreciate you. Let me quickly appreciate um, Pretty EJ Peter. Thanks for your uh, super chat. May God bless you. You've done it again. Thank you very much, people. I appreciate you all. Please make a like on this broadcast. Remember, we started on another one. Uh, we have over 400 uh, people watching us right now. But the like... Is only 138. Can you please um, take this further? Please take this further. Yeah, thank you. It's currently on 140 now. Currently on 140 now. If we can take it to 200, that would be nice. If you are listening to my voice, please press on the on the likes. Let's take it to 400. Thank you very much, my people. All right. Um, somebody asking for a link earlier on. I'll post it there. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, let me move on now to Oga Felix. You're just joining us right now. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, how was your day? My brother, my day, they can't be. They say, <laughs> oh, I don't get lost. I greet everybody. I mean, first years what you mean before because my second account where I tell you that the my phone you the Bafuka the Bafuka. That was why I said you should follow the link again. I better talk to us, sir. I, I guess you followed up what happened. I follow small the, my 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 working place, shifting things, all those things. I follow up in the no. All right, that's fine. People that's fine. Contribute. All right. Uh you can see the title right there on the on the screen. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, uh, what, what, what uh, to me personally, I'm not that surprised. May I feel greet all the panelists at the conversation? I greet everybody, our come our viewers worldwide. I'm not that surprised because 
when they were removing the when he said when he had us when Agbado and other uh, they are, he have removed subsidy. I have it in the back of my mind that the money they are be borrowing for the subsidy he is going to share it among his kaba so that they will back him up about the tribunal. And that is what he just came to do. Fairly enough, he, ne he never knew that no matter what he go do, Nigeria don't wake up. It's not Nigeria politics not as business again like before. Mm. There is a this guy you normally play video, a dark comedian, just for fun. There is one of the video I watch. I, I keep on laughing. He said, it be like say Peter Obi no say they go rig this election. And they discuss say they don't get structure, they don't get structure. If they plan the structure where you want to attack, where you want to attack them for court. Do you not get what they want to do, judicial? Because the, the, old, the old evidence, witness and all they brought to court is overwhelming. Many of us who are talking about a uh, rerun, rerun, I, I, I can say I'm one of the first person who started saying it most back, even before the election, because of this, the judicial system in Nigeria. But the way things are going now, I don't think, I don't have the belief that there will be a rerun because it's too obvious for the blind. According to the other, they normally make in Bini language, if it's not too much for soup, blind man, go see him. We don't need to be distracted with all these their shenanigans, every day, passing of bees and others, because they have studied us, seen that we are not distracted, we are united as Nigeria, not East, West, and South, and the Middle Belt at all. Every day, they try to bring one or two things out so that we will start talking about that. To me personally, just on my own opinion, we should not de deliberate that so much on all these everyday bees they are passing. We should focus on how we are going to claim our mandate. I know there is no more time frame. There is no more time on our side. We have, with the little hours remaining, we have to do all possible means to bring that more evidence with containers 40 feet. The Supreme, they have no choice than just to review the judgment of the petition court. They have no choice because they are not going to start saying that go and bring other evidence, go and bring this, go and bring this, when, when the judicial system has already done that. All the evidence you need, the petition court has already presented it to you, if maybe worse come to worst. They, all they need to do is just to review. We just need to stay focused, not to be distracted by all this shenanigans every day be passing. That, I guess that is what I have to say for now. Let's stay focused and don't be distracted with any any law they are passing. Based on, you know, say YouTube, the, the two-day street, say, many words be did my mouth. Any, any law, whether they pass. If they let me pack around that law tomorrow, say, before you shit, you, you, you need to pay 3,000 naira. May they increase NEPA B for life, wait, no day. They are just trying to do all this to distract us. That is what I see. In all this, we need to stay focused. We don't need to be distracted at this crucial time. Thank you, my people. We love you guys. We love you all. New Nigeria is possible with our PO. I greet you, my brother. All right, um, my brother, Mr. Felix, thanks for your submission. God bless you. Okay, um, let's see 
who needs to talk to us. But before that, I asked for 200 likes and we they stopped exactly 169. At the your sister, you come on for us. The your <laughs> all of the your stuff there, they're not press again. Okay, I don't come back now. Make could I press this like to 200. Eh? Now, since I don't log that, you come on for us. Una, you stop. Ah, don't do this to me now. This is not fair. This is not fair. It's not fair. Hey, press Sam. Make we take him to 200 and I talk. Now, not the 200 that be talked just now. It's now 175 now. Hmm? Make we press him, I beg. Continue to press him. Make it complete. Make it complete to 200. 200. 200 I talk. 200 is 176. Let's have 200 likes. 200 likes. Eh? Some of them are the... Try to tell me so not they sleep. That means so they tell me make me go sleep as well. Be um, no while and I'm okay. You could come and go sleep. Maybe be like saying I go better pass because you know, not if you give me 200 likes. Then everybody go out. My brother, we not feel sleepy. We not feel sleep. If you sleep, I'll come draw you come up for inside your house. No, I won't go sleep. Since morning, I had a bed for 200 uh, likes and I now reached 179 since morning. Eh? This is unfair. <laughs> okay, let's go. We are there. We are almost there. We are almost there. 182. 182. Let's take it for them, people. Our M, our M is 200. Before I will call on anybody on the panel, 200. Now we need. It must complete. I beg. 185. 185. Just 15. Just 15. 15 will let me feel your just press anyhow from here. Eh? For I make me invest that you press up by myself. 15. Crackata crackata crackata. Make an another vessel. I'm not going to say I don't they make my tool. I don't know. I know if it press. I make one help me press hard. <laughs> one help me press up. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. All right. Uh, we're going to have a final submission now so that I can have some rest anyway. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. We can't, uh, we can't stay longer than this. 189, 190. Now, only 10 email. Now, as I talk, um, if you're not complete 200, I know they call on anybody on the panel. You know, I'm not calling on anybody on the panel. Let it be one ninety one, no mm. one ninety three. Mm. I, I pass the call this time. Mm. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Your name and where you calling us from? Hi, is watch? Yes, sir. Uh, this is a, yeah, this is a Ken. I'm calling from Washington D.C. Thank you, brother Ken. How are you guys doing? We are good, sir. Yes. Um. Okay. Uh, I just wanna give a, a little bit of illustration. Way back when Barack Obama was running for president in America, Obama started as a councilman. He did not have all that political experience, he did not have all that money. But he was a good product. Mm. Obama was a councilman in Chicago, Illinois. And from there, people have seen him. They tip him as a senatorial candidate for the state of Illinois. He went there as a senator from council to senate, not even assembly, not even a governor not even House of Rep, from council, just like local government counselor to the Senate. He was in the Senate for two years and he started to run for president with to contest primary with Hillary Clinton. Money, name, everything. God Hillary go. Nobody, 
nobody ever thought that Obama would defeat Hillary in the primary. What happened? Obama was the movement of the youth in America, both black and white in America, especially university students. They were contributing $10, $5, $1 everywhere. And he called it Keep Hope Alive. Obama was was contesting with a big institution, a wife of former president, with all the connection everywhere. The American youth got 65% of the vote in America. They have 65%. The black in America got 13% to the total population of America. The black cannot, didn't make Obama the president. The American youth made him president. Nobody ever believed. So Hillary Clinton and his group went everywhere to search for dirt to nail Obama down. Because one of the easiest way to nail a black America down is infidelity or something like that. They couldn't get it. They went back to Kenya. They went everywhere to search. They didn't get. Obama was a good product, everybody. He defeated Clinton in the primary and now the main election with McCain, an American war hero a senator for many years in the state of in a in in a in a, in, a, in a state and they, they started it was a movement the youth came in okay they say change they said change change is welcome obama won life slides Okay, but where, In, what, what are you trying to say, sir? What I'm trying to say is P2B is a replica of Obama. Mm. The only chairman said, and you guys remember, that this election is the election of the youth, that the youth got 75% of registered voters. He said it clear everywhere. Peter will be won this election. Very clear. Everybody knows it. They know it. Senator Lee made on a rise note that these youths don't want us anymore. He knows what he said. And they know it. So what am I saying? What I'm saying to the youths, please keep hope alive. P2B is a good product. It's not getting there because of Igbo. It's not getting there because it's from the South or Christian, whatever. Okay? So, it is up to them. It is up to them. Nigeria had changed. And they had changed forever. It's not going to be business as usual. They know it. All the judges, they know it. They know what is going on. It was clear as crystal that this man won, and he won a betterment of the youth. I'm in the United States, but when I go and see the youth in Nigeria, I say, they don't have any future. These politicians have destroyed their future forever. They are children over overseas enjoying. The down in Nigeria, people die like nothing. Nothing is working. So my stuff is keep hope alive. He's going to get there. And he's going to get there to change and reform Nigeria for the betterment of this generation. Thank you. Otherwise, you are finished.
Thank you. That's all I have to say. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, my people. When I know say I ask for 200 years, now more go look at that with Orishan. Yes, with Orishan. I go go bless you now, my wonderful people. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let me come back to the panel. And uh, somebody supported me earlier on. Uh, that was uh, pretty once again. Thank you, Osan Girl Mede. Thank you very much. And uh, Eric Andrew, thank you very much. I just say your super chat right now. Thank you. God bless you for your support. God bless every one of you right there. Okay, let me call on, uh, let's give final submission right now. Final submission, whoever that is giving a submission now, just know is your final submission so we can round up. So I'll start with uh, give us a mandate. Give us a mandate where well, you'll be patient with us. So please talk to us. Sir. I mean, I, I, I will be far to the next person to go, sir. Thank you very much for all that you do. I do appreciate you. Okay, that's Thank fine. you so much, my brother. All right, uh, Madam Patricia, uh, are you there with us? If you're there, give us your final submission. Thank you again, Mr. Evans. Thank you. Yes. Um, yes, that's about encouraging us to keep up our life. And uh, we shouldn't be thinking of any any rerun. There will not be any rerun. They, they're going to declare our principal as the winner. Uh, but like I said before, the question will then be the fight between uh, us and uh, this uh, so-called uh, Jaguda, the rascality that is there now. So, but I know that with uh, God, all things are possible. If he doesn't want to get off, then, uh, he, you know, which means the, the Niger Nigeria has to go the other way, which is um, let's divide the country and let everybody move on. I think that that will um, be the final the final uh, decision when we get to that bridge. I believe that that's how it's going to end. I believe so because with the character there, I I don't see him wanting to just you know honor the law, the law that is already uh, shredded and uh, trashed before. So I don't think he will want to honor that uh, order. I don't think so, even if the judges pass that order uh, for him to step down, let um, um, our principal take over. He will not want to get, he will not want to release, uh, release power. So and therefore there will be a confront it will be like a confrontation a confrontation between uh, us and him so it's better to divide at that time then it's better to just be the country and let everybody do but um yeah everyone should uh, to be courageous be brave know that whatever is happening is happening uh, for our good we'll definitely uh, get the our PO to, to be our president, whether with Nigeria or without Nigeria. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um Mother Patricia, may God bless you. Thanks for your submission. All right, uh let's hear a final submission from uh uh Are you still with us? Are you still there? Okay, Pai Duin, you're not available right now. Okay, let me go to um, Black Panther. Please give it, give us your final submission. Yeah, Mr. Nigawa, thank you for for what you're doing, and uh, thank you all the panelists, the ones that are that are here and the ones that are left, and our audience over there, both of us and in Nigeria. I just want to say we should keep our eyes on the crown. To the positive oh, that the, the race is always rough and the race is filled with a lot of debris and um, some kind of things on the way and we, we, we will always overcome them and we should continue in this fight like our PO told us that this fight is going to be a long, long, long fight. We should just keep our hope alive 
and we should always know that these politicians that are there now, they are not ready to make a change. And no country in the world is ready to do business with them. All they want to do is to impoverish us and take the natural resources God has given you and I. And as we go along this trajectory, we know that God is on our side because we have prayed long time ago that God should send up somebody that will lift us up, that will help this nation. And God has sent the person of Peter O.B. And I want to thank you all for keeping the light up there. And I want to also thank um, Mr. Najawash. You're doing a great work and God will continue to bless you and open all that doors to you. Because God is with you. That is why any event, anything that the enemy plan, you always come out there. That is it. Anything that the evil one plan to plant them in this network, they will always do what? They will always be exposed. I want to thank you again that God is with you. And God is every one of us. We should keep the flag flying. We are fighting to the end. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Amen, amen, amen. And you too. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, God, Felix, give us your final submission. Thank you. Uh, I agree. I agree to my beloved brother. The Lord Thank is your you. strength. Thank you. <clears throat> all I have to say is just to thank all the way meaningful Nigerians out there, people like you and the rest of us, who have put all their efforts day and night to make sure that new Nigeria is being given better. I thank you, everybody. Let's keep focus. In this dire meaning, is in this crucial time we are now because there is another they normally make in our language, Bili language, are meaning which implies that which means that you don't chop snake, it call it may it you can't say it bitter. It get you where it be. When they chop the awful body, not to say it bitter. We have been fighting the fight ever since. We never relent. Now that we are getting to the end of the fight, we have been fighting. We don't need to be discouraged by anything that comes across our way. Our principal said that it's a journey that is not going to be easy. That is why we have been keeping fighting in this stage. Let's keep on fight and see the end of the fight for good. Let's not be distracted. Let's encourage ourselves. Just like what our one of our brothers said before, I was on the background listening to the, the submission that many of us that live in diaspora, during the election period, we send a lot of money to our loved ones to encourage them. Now, they are the ones to encourage us for what we have done for them before. It's a big bad time, let me say so. There is no need of sending money to them again to encourage them to do the rightful thing or anybody that have judges, lawyers, police and others, forces around his family, around him as a friend. There's no need of encouraging them any longer because we have encouraged them enough. They need to encourage us for a new Nigeria to begin better. We need you people back way home, back in Nigeria. Please. Do the rightful thing, go to the rightful place to make sure that this new Nigeria we are clamoring for is being given better. I thank everyone for all you have done and for all you we do in future for a better Nigeria. Thank you, my people. I eat for now. All right, thank you. Um, I'm glad for this. I really do appreciate you, my brother. Thank you. Um Thank you, thank you. So I think uh, Mr. Edwin is now available, and um, he's not talking to Tunubu, have I cannot go France. No, we first call you since now. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, give us a nice commission, sir. Thank you. Yeah, sir. thank you very much, uh, Nadia Wash and the fellow panelists. Comment session, I get all of you. I say thank you, everyone, for the fight so far, understanding, and then uh, for trying to be our brother's keeper. Uh, we're also trying to be our nation's keeper. I greet all of you and I thank everyone.
thank you everyone and uh, i hope at this junction we are coming to the end of this fight and uh, we will now we've done our best i will continue to still do our best until god almighty give us our heart desire over our nation and over our principal to take over the affair of this nation nigeria which is our country our home and I pray it should remain like that. And uh, the man that is piloting the system for all of us, may he never weary and may he never get tired. Nothing should happen to him so that he will be there to coordinate all of us to fight this fight together. And that is Nigeria Wash. My brother, may your senses never depart from you. And may your wisdom never go out of you where it is much needed. Thank you very much. I thank every one of you. Thank you very much, sir, Mr. Edwin. God bless you, sir. I appreciate your continuous uh, prayers and support. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Uh, Pretty EJ, thank you very much uh, for the super chat. And uh, Eric Andrews, thank you. Andrea, thank you very much. I'm not sure if I pronounced that last name properly, though, but thank you so much. I really do appreciate this. And God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I want to use this opportunity to tell everybody that, yes, this is the end of the broadcast. We've been here uh, all day. It's not easy. So, yeah, remember that we're going to be coming back again by by 3 p.m. tomorrow. Yes, 3 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to be here again. So I'm even happy they put it on 3 p.m. Whenever they put it on 3 p.m. like that, they normally start like that kind of 3.30, 3.45 so yeah that will be fine it's close to almost the time that we normally come out so yeah but join us tomorrow exactly um by 30 the, exactly that 30 p.m or thereabouts you know and let's do this together you know we take the live court update here join us and let's do it together tomorrow is friday yeah that will be nice thank you very much my people together with the collective collective effort we are we are certainly going to have our mandate back <clears throat> we all are keeping our fingers crossed, you know, despite that everything looks so good and it looks clear, but we shouldn't be carried away. I don't trust these people. That's one thing about me. I don't trust them. I'm only reacting or acting according to what I'm seeing. With what I'm seeing so far, it looks so clear that they cannot do anything than to declare Peter will be the winner. But because we cannot trust these people, um although let's speak positive you know let's speak positive thank you very much for everybody for all your wonderful efforts i appreciate you all it's not easy you know um me coming here every day is because of your kind words and how you support us all the time <clears throat> you know your prayers your your you know uh how you encourage us and all that and so some of you that always send us uh nice words uh, on our email whatsapp and all that even after the broadcast you know thank you and for those of you that always write good comments on our videos after the broadcast thank you we appreciate you all with the siam thank you thank you thank you now god will bless you all uh, mother of all mommy diaspora thank you very much mommy for all you do for us we appreciate you always 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 uh peggy body thank you very much chris Dublin, thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Uh, Rosie Ayosh, thank you very much. I appreciate you all right there. Hope Osarete Itwa, thank you very much. Williams Winner, thank you very much. God bless you. Good night. Thank you for staying with us this late. God bless you. And um, and I can see uh, Posha Gina, thank you very much. God bless you all. Uh, Pretty EJ Peter, thank you very much. Eric. Andreas, thank you very much. God bless you all. Abu Azi, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you all. Juliet Holland, Mother Patricia, thank you, thank you, my good people. Now, God will bless you. Now, I really do appreciate every one of you. Now, here, now we'll draw the curtain because it's been a long day. Please continue to like and share our videos. May God bless every one of you. Good night, my people, and bye for now. I know they do competition with anybody. If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love. Oh, go there, biza biza. Come on, bar a walo. I know they do competition with anybody. 
If I offend you, forgive me. Show me love. But I know they do competition with anybody. Show me love, oh, I go show you love, eh. 